Okay, so uh, thanks everyone for watching the first video about wax paper negatives. Um, I just thought I would make a follow-up here because uh, I've um, just, I don't know, discovered a, a few things. Um, and one of them is that, uh, so last time I used just regular copy paper, and that's what this is, I'll hold this up here. And I'm holding it in front of this uh, Bristol pad, just so you can see, this is, of course, unwaxed. I just printed it uh, on my um, inkjet printer. You can kind of see through it, some of the um, printing on the pad there. Um, but I've, I uh, got a pad of um, Bien Fang 360 graphics paper. And this is really thin stuff. Um, and you can see how much better you can see through that. Um, and again, I just put this through the inkjet printer uh, with my uh, to print my negative. I, I run it through twice, um, and it's, it always seems to kind of register. The printer is good at registering the, the paper so that uh, you, know, you don't get double images and shadows and things like that. Um, so yeah, I just ran it through twice, and and so you can uh, see there that uh, it's pretty thin to begin with compared to the again I'll show you the inkjet regular inkjet like office copy paper. Um, so let's get to I'm gonna wax both of these and and compare them, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. So. Just a little um, background before we start, I'll show, um, I'll cut in uh, the picture that I'm trying to um, produce here. And so you can see what, what I started with. Uh, it was a 35 millimeter film negative, uh, a film called Kodak Dacomatic uh, that was designed as copy film for their Recordac uh, microfilming machine back in the 60s or 50s or whenever, um, but I ended up with 400 feet of this film, and uh, I really like it. I shot this at uh, ISO 20 and developed it in XTOL, one to one, um, for about six minutes. Okay, so again, I have my skillet here warmed up to about 200, just a little under 200 degrees. Um, on the on the dial there, um, and I'm going to do the the regular office um, copy paper here first. Just, just get that warmed up. That's getting nice and warm. Okay, so just start putting the wax on. And, you know, I'm not sure if the temperature of the skillet is really critical. Uh, you know, I try to keep it so that the wax isn't melting so fast that it's, you know, pooling um, on the paper. Because I kind of like to keep it, you know, to a, a minimum amount of wax. I don't really want a thick, a big thick layer of wax. So and now you can see obviously the image coming through. Now if your skillet isn't hot enough then your wax <laughs> solidifies when you hit a cool spot. So I just kind of rub it on until I can't really see the texture of the paper anymore. It's not um, blotchy or anything like that. Uh, and again, the, the piece of paper towel on the, on the skillet is really just to you know, protect the paper and make sure that I'm not scorching anything. Um, this is an old skillet. This isn't one we use for cooking anymore. Okay, 
Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to just wipe this wax off. And I just do the, the back side. And I place, I put the negative on there face down, ink side down. And just put wax on the back. It, the wax soaks through the paper, so it kind of impregnates the paper fibers, and that's why it becomes transparent, translucent. Uh, all right, so that one's done. And now let's take a look. So that's, you know, quite a bit more transparent than it, it started out. Uh, you probably rewind back to the beginning of the video and see what it looked like before. I'll set that over there. And now let's do the Bien Fang 360 graphics paper. Um, now I also have done uh, salt prints on this paper, so um, you know it's it's stable enough to get it wet and dry it and get it wet again. And so uh, in this case, I uh, in Photoshop I applied a cyanotype curve. So. Um, I'm going to try doing a cyanotype and I'll show at the end of the video I'll show what I, the results I get. Hopefully I get something good. At this point I don't know. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to get the wax on there. Try to get it into the corners along the edges. Okay. And again, that's just uh, regular, you know, cheap old white beeswax that I got at the local craft center. Nothing super special. Um, I know there are people who use different kinds of wax, paraffin, or you know, lots of different things will work. And uh, some people use Crisco oil, you know, shortening, you know, fat based things. Um, I like the wax just because it, you know, I don't have to put it in an envelope, I don't have to worry about it. You know, attracting wild animals, whatever. It's just kind of turns out being a nice, clean, you know, basically a piece of wax paper, just like you would buy on a roll. All right, so now that one's done. Look at that. That's that's just about as transparent as you can get. That's not. It's not quite like. Pictorico OHP, you know, transparency, but man, it's close, right? I mean, you can just read, you can read through it. Uh, and this is just perfect for doing alternative process contact printing. Um, as long as you, uh, like I said, run it through your printer twice so that you get the density of the ink. Um, that'll give you some contrast. Uh, I know my my printer, if I just run it through once, um, I get a really low contrast um, negative, which depending on your process, you might want that. Um, but uh, for cyanotypes and, and uh, gum printing and salt printing, I like to run it through twice. So again, let's compare these two side by side. So you can see the the Bien Fang is uh, quite a bit. Let me try to compare the same part of the negative together. I don't know if it's quite a bit, but you know, 
it is it is more transparent than the than the regular office paper and uh, also it's 9 by 12 so you get a little bigger print out of it um, it's like this is one of my favorite pa papers to print on uh, the Strathmore Bristol uh, smooth surface is also 9 by 12 so I can do a full size sheet uh, of this using you know, this negative uh, which is nice so um, hang on I'll, I'll go print these and uh, show you the results all right so um, I got these printed uh, it's been actually a couple of weeks since I uh, made the negatives but through the magic of video editing here we are and I'm gonna um, put these on the screen uh, the first one is the, the Bianfang negative printed on Bianfang paper is a cyanotype um, so uh, in the Bianfang paper you know it, it's not watercolor paper it's really thin um, but it holds up perfectly well uh, with printing uh, the the thing it, 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 it's very, it's really smooth the uh, emulsion whichever you choose to put on there cyanotype or salt print or uh, whatever you want to use um, just sits right on the top surface and there's nothing for it to soak into the paper is so thin so um, it makes very finely detailed um, you get a lot of fine detail a lot of resolution uh, on this paper so that could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing in this case um, the the negative you know, had some kind of graininess to it. The Bian Fang negative had some graininess to it, I think because of the inkjet um, printing. So, uh, it turns out you can see some artifacts here in the, like in the flower, um, in the highlights, really, you can see how the graininess uh, came through. The, the, the good thing about this is that it coats really nicely. Uh, even with a brush, uh, you can't really see a lot of brush marks and, and things. And this is a single coat of the sanotype emulsion uh, chemicals. Um, so, and it and it turns this really bright blue. Um, and you'll see the difference when I put the other uh, the other prints up. But this is just a really bright blue. Um, the next one I'm going to show is the. Um, Bianfang negative on the Bristol Strathmore smooth surface paper and this one uh, first of all there's some obvious things that big blue circle in the upper right corner who knows what that is I, I suspect that it's a problem with the internal sizing of the paper you can see some other um, dark kind of specks uh, down in the lower part of the of the image um, and then there's some white specks where uh, I'm, in, I'm kind of embarrassed to say that my uh, Sanotype B solution uh, got moldy and I didn't filter it before I uh, brushed it on. So <laughs> there's some mold specks on there that uh, then, you know, of course didn't get exposed. But anyway, uh, this one uh, was double coated. And uh, so the, you can't see a lot of brush marks on things. There's sort of that unfortunate big blob of artifact in the in the corner. But um, again, the, this is the Bianfang negative. Um, so you can still see some of the kind of graininess in the highlights, which on this one doesn't bother me as much uh, for some reason. Um, it didn't turn the the bright blue. That the Bianfang print did, um, and th that's okay. Usually, I, I bleach and tone my cyanotypes anyway uh, with wine tannin. Um, these are untoned; these are just kind of straight up, straight out of the um, you know, contact printing frame. So, but you can see that the detail is good on this one, and I'll maybe switch back and forth between the 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 other image in this one uh, so you can see that the detail is good especially kind of on the on the edges on the the left and right edges of the flower and the the the, the, the stamen there that's sticking up 
Uh, good detail. I'm, I'm happy with this print aside from the artifacts. Uh, so I might try this again. Um, the next one is the regular uh, photocopy paper, you know, inkjet printing paper negative um, on the uh, Bristol paper, watercolor paper. Um, this one, it, I only single coated this one with, with the cyanotype solution, so you can see a lot more brush marks and stuff. So I'd, I'd really suggest that, you know, especially with um, smooth surface papers that you double coat. So you coat it once, you let it dry, coat it again, let it dry, then you print. Uh, but again, I'm, I'm happy with uh, the detail. Um, there's still a uh, little bit of graininess in the highlight, uh, in, in, especially in the out of focus uh, highlights on the left side. Um, but the flower itself, I think, came out really nice on this. Um, I wish I had double coated the paper. Uh, so these are all things that you kind of you need to take notes about or write it on the back of the print and uh, and and do better in the future you know always learn from uh, what, I don't know if they're mistakes really it's just what you what you would rather you know what you had in mind uh, when you started printing so anyway that's uh, that's it those are the prints um, thanks for watching leave a comment and uh, We'll continue discussing waxed paper negatives. Take care.